Welcome to the tutorial on indices. And in this tutorial, we will go through index laws. Number one, index laws. This includes powers, squared, cubed, and numbers with a power to four, to five, to six, etc. It also includes roots, square roots, cube roots. The most important thing about index laws are that they can be used to simplify powers and roots. So let's have a look at our first rule. x to the power of a times x to the power of b. Now how do we work this out? It's very simple. We write down x and then because x is the same we write down a plus b. x to the power of a times x to the power of b equals x a plus b. Now this is a golden rule of index laws and you must remember this. Let's work through an example. Suppose we have the question which says 7 to the power of 4 times 7 to the power of 9 and it asks you to simplify this and to write the answer in index form. Well 7 to the power of 4 times 7 to the power of 9 using our rule is 7 to the power of 4 plus 9 becomes 7 to the power of 13. So it really is that simple. Okay, that's our first one. We're now going to move to our second rule. This time we have x to the power of a divided by just join those together x to the power of b. Now how do we work this out? Well, this is simply x to the power of a, because it's division, now we say minus, x to the power of a minus b. Again, this is a another golden rule of index laws. Let's work through an example. Suppose we have the question which says, 9 to the power of 6 divided by 9 to the power of 4. How do we work this out? Well, this is simply 9 to the power of 6 minus 4. The answer is 9 squared. It's very simple. Okay, we're going to now remove this and go on to our third rule. And don't forget, at the end of this uh, tutorial, we will highlight all of the rules so you can uh, memorize them. This time we have x to the power of a, we've got brackets, to the power of b. Now this is not the same as the first rule where we had x to the power of a times x to the power of b. This is x to the power of a to the power of b. This is simply x a b. It's effectively a times b. Just put a circle around this. This is our third rule. x to the power of a to the power of b equals x to the power of a times b. Now let's work through our example. Now suppose you get this in the exam. 5 to the power of 4 to the power of 3. And the question is, 
How do you simplify this and write the answer in index form? Well, this is simply using our rule 5 to the power of 4 times 3. And that becomes 5 to the power of 12. It's very simple. Just memorize the rules and you will get the hang of this in no time. We are now going to move on to our second topic, and this is cube root. Just two simple rules in this. The cube root of a positive number is a positive, and the cube root of a negative number is a negative. Let's run through a couple of examples to highlight this. So let's look at the first one here. Suppose we have 5 times 5 times 5. The answer to this is 125. To simplify it, 5 to the power of 3 equals 125. Or to put it another way, 125 to the cube root equals 5. Now you notice how everything is positive. Now let's now work on the negative. Suppose this time we have minus 5 times minus 5 times minus 5. Well, the answer to this is minus 125. To simplify it, minus 5 on this side to the power of 3 equals minus 125. We have minus 5, and to write this down we say minus 1, 2, 5 to the cube root. Now all of that seems quite self-explanatory, but just remember the rule. Cube roots of a positive number is a positive, and cube roots of a negative number is a negative. We are now going to move on to our third topic. Powers of 0 and 1. Now the first rule is, any number which has a power of 0 is equal to 1. For example, 8 to the power of 0 equals 1. 15 to the power of 0 equals 1. And you can write any number to the power of 0 equals 1. It's very straightforward. The second rule is, any number which has a power of 1 is equal to itself. Again, we'll look at an example. We have the number 9 to the power of 1, that equals 9. 25 to the power of 1 equals 25. And you can write any number to the power of 1 equals the number itself. Now these are two important rules to remember. Any number which has a power of 0 is equal to 1 and any number which has a power of 1 is equal to itself. We are now going to summarize the rules that we have learned so far. So let's start with the first one. 
number 1, x to the power of a times x to the power of b equals x a plus b. That is our first rule x to the power of a times x to the power of b equals x to the powers of a plus b. Right, we can circle that. The second rule we learned was x to the power of a divided by x to the power of b equals x a minus b. So if it's division, we are minusing it. Let's put a circle all the way around that. And the third rule we learned was x to the power of a to the power of b equals x a b. So it's a times b. Now the next two rules we learnt were x to the power of 0 equals 1. And lastly, hopefully this shows up quite well, x to the power of 1 equals x. So those are the five rules that we have learnt in this tutorial. Make sure you learn them off by heart, so when you come to an exam question, you're able to answer them without hesitation.